Hey guys, Brody Swisher here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're kicking off a brand new series, a kayak hunting series, where we bring you all the ins and outs of hunting from a kayak. Today we're starting off with a look at some of the best kayaks for hunting. Now we're going to take you through some of the cheapest possible models you can find in kayaks up to the best of the best. So check it out. The best kayaks for hunting. Here's a closer look. So we're going to get out on the water and give you a closer look at stability, what you can expect on each of these boats from the smallest to the biggest, how they handle, how they perform, how easy they tip over. All that's going to go down right here in just a few minutes as we give you a closer look at what you can expect when you're hunting from a kayak. As we get started, we're going to take a closer look at each of the different boats we've got out here. I've got five different rigs that are some of the ones we use. Again, these are some we use for recreation, hunting, fishing, hanging out with the family. But we're going to take you through those and kind of give you an idea of what you can expect in the way of specs. Uh, as well as cost on each of these rigs. All right, first off, we're gonna take a look at these boats from smallest to largest, or maybe the cheapest to the most expensive, starting off with the Sun Dolphin Aruba 8. Now, this is your classic Walmart kayak, 150 bucks, maybe $200 at the most. As the name implies, Aruba 8, it's an eight foot kayak. And the thing, I mean, look at it, it's, it's, it's light. I mean, that's 30, 35 pounds. The big thing on this is that it's your sit-in style. Uh, but there's really not a lot of cargo space. You can look and see at the top of it, it's not much uh, in the way of cargo space. There's no, uh, it's just a flat front deck. You got bungee cords here in the back, a little stow cap there, but I mean, there's not much more than a room for a can of cold beverage in there. A little simple seat, padded, molded in seat. Not a lot of space in this at all. It's gonna get you to that location. This is your bare bones kayak to get you in get you out again not a lot of storage space so this will get you started like i said you can probably find them um under 100 dollars used 150 was a new price you can probably find these things for under 100 bucks used so that's the sun dolphin aruba 8. moving down we've got the pelican we bought this at i think academy sports and again very affordable i think aiden and i bought two of these for 240 250 bucks a piece 35 pound weight on these it can handle loads up to 250 pounds so it's got my weight and just a little bit more i'm a 215 pounder uh, so it's got my weight plus a little bit more storage capacity i do like in the back it's got this kind of this, this truck bed a cargo bed in the back you can put your deer or turkey uh, or put some quarters of a deer back there uh, it's got a little more room up front for storage not a lot of capacity but again this is another affordable kayak coming in at 250 bucks but this is still probably the kayak you're going to be dragging your deer out or figuring out some other way you're not going to be packing your tree stand and your climbing sticks and a deer and all the different stuff on this particular kayak moving on up the list we've got the perception swifty now perception's a great brand of kayak they make some good solid kayak this is kind of the middle of the road you can find this in that three to four hundred and fifty dollar range very solid kayak not a lot of load capacity in here you got bungee straps on the back uh, but again you can shove your stuff up in the side this is again another sit-in style of kayak so again the swifty from perception middle of the road kayak you're going to pay 350 to 400 dollars for this one uh, a little tougher built kayak than some of these other ones uh, but again a sit-in style it doesn't offer a lot of cargo space i think it's a, a 9.5 or 9.6 uh, in measurement from front to back. Moving on over, we're gonna start spending a lot more money as we get into some of these higher end kayaks. This is the Frontier 12 from New Canoe. It's 41 inches wide from side to side, so the widest platform of any kayaks I've been in so far. Incredible when it comes to stability. It's got lots of features. You can trick it out in many different ways, but the beautiful thing about this, it's got a 650 pound load capacity all kind of room with the open design you got plenty of room in the front or back to haul your deer you can throw turkeys in here you can have several people ride in here with you i love this one from having myself toting one of my kiddos with me in here uh, just a really slick rig it's got a 360 swivel seat all the way around uh, this is without a doubt the most stable kayak i've been in another feature that's really cool about this one that sets this kayak apart from a lot of them is it's got this flat back it allows you to put an outboard motor on the back or a trolling motor on the back. You can put a 2.5 uh, horsepower motor on the back of this thing and boogie on in there. You can put a trolling motor on the back of it. So lots of options. It's a Frontier 12 from New Canoe. This is a 12 foot kayak. Again, I think it's 650 pound capacity uh, for your load. So you got room for you, your, all your gear. 
and a deer when you do kill something at the end of the deal. So you got storage up front here, nice box in the front. You can stash some goods and gear. It's got what they call the Freedom Track across the front design. It allows you to add all kind of features from bow holders, gun holders, GoPro mounts, camera gear, all the stuff you want to put inside this thing and install. It's got it. Very slick rig. The new Canoe Frontier 12. Be sure to check it out. Again, you're going to spend more money. It's coming in at that $12.99 price tag. I think it's $1,500 when you put the seat and all the goods in here. So it's not as cheap as your Walmart $150 special, but a very big jump in performance and stability and all the performance you want when you're hunting deer from a kayak. All right, the last kayak we're gonna take a look at today that we've got on our list is the Hobie Outback. Now this is like the Frontier 12 in that it's your top of the top, best of the best kayak. It's a very stable kayak. It's got all the performance, all the bells and whistles you're gonna look for in a kayak. The beauty of this kayak, again, like the Frontier 12, it's got a deck in the back, a deck in the front, lots of room for you to get all your gear in and out of the woods. It's got room and weight capacity to get your deer loaded on the deck as you're rolling out. I really like the Hobie chair, very comfortable. Folds down, easy off. The beauty of this thing is it pulls double duty as a hunting chair. You can pop the legs in, make a little hunting stool out of it, take it to the ground blind. Turkey Woods, got your little hunting chair built in. You can add on all kind of accessories on this one, so really slick stuff, but it comes at a price. This is our most expensive kayak on our list. This is a $3,000 kayak, so it goes from $150 on up to $3,000 with the Hobie Outback. Here we've got the Hobie Outback. Very solid build, streamlined design, handles rougher water well, tracks really good, very solid platform. Really nicely done on the build for this particular boat. Hobie's just known for making some of the best of the best. Easton's gonna stand up, show us the stability built into the Hobie. So not the widest, but certainly not the most narrow. Easton's moving around front to back in this one. Very stable, despite the fact that it's a significantly more narrow design. The Hobie Outback, solid performer, Hunting, fishing, bow fishing, this one can do it all as well. Here's a look at the Frontier 12, a 12 foot kayak, tracks really nice. Longer kayak, very stable, and actually paddles really well for how wide it is. I didn't think I'd like the fact of being a 41 inch kayak. I thought there's no way you could paddle this, but it actually paddles really nice for such a wide body kayak. Very stable, tracks really well. You can walk around in this kayak. Again, 645, 650 pound capacity for weight. Load it up. I really love the stability from the standpoint of being able to bow fish in this one in the spring. Spawning fish in the shallow water. This is gonna be the trick for slipping in those hot spots where it's really shallow, can't get your big boat in. Gonna bow fish off this one. So hunting, fishing, bow fishing, Frontier 12 from New Canoe, really stable. As stable as they get when it comes to kayaks on the water. Here's the Aruba 8. As you can see, these smaller kayaks, with every stroke of the paddle, you're tipping that front one way or another. They don't track just incredibly well, really light, but not a bad ride. All right, let's take a quick look at the stability. When you start talking about the Sun Dolphin Aruba 8, the smallest little eight foot, Aiden's gonna stand up and show us the stability in this thing. Not too shabby, but he's only about a hundred pounder. Can you walk around in that at all? No, nope. no, nope. that would be a no. Here's the Pelican. And again, you can see these smaller kayaks. With every paddle stroke, you're turning the front end. That's that tracking or inability to track real well. But not a bad ride. Show us a little bit on the stability of it. Again, this is a sit-in style, not made for heavy loads. But he's going to give you a look at the stability. Rock it back and forth. Let's see what you got. Again, this is not your kayak for fishing off of, not your kayak for loading the tons of weight into. You put a big buck or even a small doe up on that one, you're gonna be a little tipsy. Not bad though, you don't stand up on one leg, give us a little side to side. Not today. Oh, look at the little Miyagi there. Good job, little karate kid. Not bad at all. Oh, he's, all, oh man, man down, man down. That's all right, take one for the team, bring it in. Here's a look at the Swifty from Perception. Tracks a little bit better, longer kayak. Not bad at all. Here's your Swifty from Perception. It's a nine and a half foot kayak, so a little bit longer kayak. It tracks better. But let's take a look when it comes to stability. 
Aiden's gonna stand up for us. Let's see what we got. A little bit wider, heavier kayak. And as you can see, a little more stable at full stance. Stand on one leg, let's see what you got. Can you stand on one leg? Not too bad, and he goes. Perception Swifty, not for standing up, fishing and hunting out of, just sit down, ride it out, sit tight. That's the Perception Swifty. All right guys, there you go. A closer look at some of the kayak options out there on the market, some of which you may want to pursue, some of those you may want to pass on. Again, we've got something for everybody from the $150 range on up to 3K. So lots of options, lots of opportunities. It all depends on how much you want to invest how much you're committed to hunting from the kayak. So hopefully you've picked something up along the way or have some more direction for what we've shared with you today. Be sure to follow along in our kayak hunting series this fall as we take you on our hunts as well as more how-tos and product reviews along the way. Coming up next is five things you need to be doing when it comes to scouting from the kayak. So look for that coming in the weeks ahead. We hope to see you right back here for more great content. Shoot straight, God bless.